Hey guys, welcome to another story time with Dutty Berry. Oh gosh, before we even start, make sure that you like and leave a comment from no, may I give you five seconds? One, two, three, four, cinco. Yeah, that is it. Make sure to say leave a like already. So this story time is going to be me talking about that time that my father told me something about my yeah, I shall never forget it. So a few years ago when I was in high school, yes, a few. Mm -hmm. I was at Excelsior High School. I would say I was almost 200 pounds. Made it, made it fat, right? I was real fat. Till one of the time then when I went to the, you know, when you had your checkup, you just start high school and you have to do a little inspection, check up something there. Um, the, the nurse put me down on one table and when she feel my leg them, she said, Jesus, Pim, look at this. And I saw the woman took up my leg them like a piece of dumpling, you know, like raw flour. Look at this. And she said to my mother like, yo. Make sure that you get the spinning at every single extracurricular activity that is at the school. And I was just there on the bed, just feeling ashamed. They don't look at Hien's white brief. You know them long time briefs that we used to wear like, yeah, before boxer brief was a thing, everybody they have them look a white brief. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, at that time my father used to drop me to school so every day he used to drop me to school and um, this man like him not really talk much he just mentioned one and two line and you know he just work with it and he laugh here and there but there was never any one bag of chatting in the car on the journey to school and um, upon this particular day oh Jesus beam oh Lord oh gosh Anyway, on this particular day, I was in the car, right? I was in the car, and I remember my mother was saying, Yo, you need for lose weight, you need for lose weight. But for the life of me, I just couldn't avoid KFC. I just couldn't avoid, avoid the little Popeyes. I couldn't avoid the little burger. Then I just couldn't, I mm, just love food too much. If me I eat food, it's like it have a full up, like the rice, it have come like a blue mountain. Escape the last man peak, or up your soy to go there. But three different pieces of chicken in there, when me I have dumpling, it's nothing less than five dumplings I got in my plate. And on top of that, I'm going to have like yam, banana, all kind of little excitement, pumpkin to the side. I just love food. And when I mean, have like one dinner, it's like I have like dinner, like dinner and the sequel, like after. So that was my sort of life. And my father never really liked this because now I'm a ton teenager. And I guess him sister people that pick on me and they bag of teasing. And um, I remember I went into the car one day and picked me up. I was there on the way to school. And it's like him, him, him quiet, you know, like him quiet. When we reach Mountain View, like him, I say, um, yeah, how much? And I mean, I say, you know, like me at 12 or 13, and he's like, um, what you gonna do about the, about the, about the overweight something? And I was like, may I try, you know, may I try exercise? And I say, you need for man, you need for make sure you say you start lose weight because if you don't lose weight, your penis, your body not gonna grow. Just not gonna move, and nobody not gonna want you. That is what my, my, my father said and um, me it just got silent. I was devastated. I, you, you know like certain things like, yeah certain things where your mother tell you so like for lose weight but like when your father say it, when your father tell you that it's like it just it, a fact, a literal fact. It's like, me not remember like when him said that it's like something just think about in my head. I'ma say yo Roshim why? You can't make things with just a bad 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 you know? Things can't bad but not so bad. And I remember after that when I come out of the car, I just said yesterday, when I come out of the car, people, me don't want food no more. It's like, me never did a starve myself. I just, they say, I don't want bag of dumpling them. I just never interested. You know, see me eat a one walk of food, my mother, I want to warm to me. Why may I stress out myself? Because I just never, me never have no appetite again. And, and low and low, I just start to watch my little, where's your name? Pan Fit TV, I show the name like In Shape with Sharon, man. I'm used to get up on my little gillard and them look at something there. You know, look early morning workout, something come on TVJ with the two women them. I start to do them little, them little exercise thing there. And by the next year, I saw my mother down. Like, my mother down and come back to school look like the Grim Reaper. Like, somebody look. But yeah, that was it. <laughs> that was my story. The time my father got me to lose weight and, you know, what he told me about my ding ding. And yes, daddy, but, you know, what I have to say is that, you know, I'm sure many of you are very curious now. To wonder what is updated if my father was actually, you know, what he said, if that is actually true. 
um, but um, yeah, we could have stayed for it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe if you enjoyed this story. Please remember that story times will be coming out every Thursday, throwback Thursday, every Thursday on my channel. So make sure that you look forward to it. And as soon as we post it, like, comment share and tell your friends and family to subscribe bye bye